G'day guys, welcome to G-Man Speaks. Today I'm gonna to take a look at a creator called Anna Bay. Now she's a very large creator. I've never heard of her before. Um, it appears that she appears to be a dating coach for women, um, educating women on how to get men. So this will be a bit of a laugh for us. Uh, she has 1.84 million subscribers. So there you go, guys. She has a very wide reach on the platform and I'm sure it's gonna be fantastic advice. So uh, thank you to the gentleman who uh, recommended this video to me. And guys, if there are videos that you come across and want me to talk about, um, send them through to my email at gmanspeakstv at gmail. Let's go! ...where men have become spoiled and women have become desperate. But ladies, if you just apply these tips and tricks that I'm going to share with you, you will actually have men begging for your attention. My dear elegant ladies, welcome back to another video. This is a topic that we need to discuss because we have men around us, whether we are in a marriage, in a relationship, or we are single and looking. So I think the tips that I will be sharing with you today will be applicable regardless of your relationship status. And I do want to mention one important thing because the media keeps writing that I'm a billionaire matchmaker. A lot of people keep thinking that I'm a dating coach. And even though I make videos on the side subject of dating men, how to meet men, but also how to keep men. That doesn't mean that I'm a dating coach. It's just a topic that I enjoy talking about. That oh, okay, so you're just talking rubbish and giving advice um, uh, to women about how to lock down men, which they're going to follow. It sounds a bit dating coachy to me, so I can't understand the logic there. It's quite a bit of next level hamstering. That is part of a lifestyle transformation and ultimately ladies lifestyle transformation is what it is that i teach in my elite finishing school <laughs> so if you want to join okay. us come and visit schooloffaffluence.com and begin oh yeah another grift another grift where women will go and spend a whole bunch of money getting horrible advice that it's not going to give them results in your transformation today I did mention that the modern society is not going in a favorable direction for women today. However, ladies, we have to address the very important aspect that men have become very spoiled in our society <laughs> and it's thanks to women. So, Is it really? I mean, it's, hey, tell me about where this is society is because I'd love to go and join it because I can tell you what, I'm definitely not spoiled. How men spoil? Ugh. I don't know. Sorry, guys. I was about to have an aneurysm already. Oh, we are not that innocent here. We're not going to be victims here. We are actually responsible to why men are spoiled today. And there is a simple reason for that. Mm -hmm. Women have become desperate. Women have become very forgiving. Women are violating their own boundaries in order to keep men, in order to satisfy men, in order to just have a family. This... Uh, no. She, she, so, yeah, that could be true um, for three, the top 5% of guys. They're not doing that sort of shit for your average guy. Not every guy is spoiled and has these women bending over backwards and um, simping for them. It just does, it's unheard of. So it's just a woman who clearly is probably marketing herself as somebody um, very high status, very high class. How for women to then lock down these very high status, high class, very wealthy men. I'm sure she's not talking about guys on 100 grand or 150 grand or 50 grand or whatever it is. The guy down at Coles, the guy working down at Brumby's Bakery. You know, the guy on the building side, she's not talking about these guys. No, she's talking about investment bankers or, you know, um, business owners and entrepreneurs. It's classic. It's a very sheltered um, view of the world becomes problematic because one of the things that we as high caliber women we cannot afford is no. to violate our own boundaries no. is to start flexing the initial message that we sent out because majority of us we are probably playing a little bit hard to get but the problem is when we are not acting hard to get so this takes me straight into the first and foremost biggest dating cliche out there i'm talking about being hard to get Yes. All right, all right. So this might work on some dudes. It's never worked on me. Um, I think playing hard to get is a quick uh, telltale sign that they're watching all this sort of bullshit, all right? You don't want women who are carrying on and, and watching all these dating games are going to play psychological warfare on you. It's like how a woman probably doesn't want some hardcore uh, red pillar or pickup artist, actually. I won't, say pick up, I won't say red pillar. I'll say pickup artist who's going to use psychological warfare tricks, manipulation um, on them. I'm sure if she knew the heels into that, they're not going to be interested. So the second I get a sniff of it, they're, they're all gone. They're all gone. They can play hard to get. They can play their games. Not working with me. And I'm sure I'm speaking for many of you guys at home. Biggest turnoff ever.
it's a cliche but yes we have to talk about it because you are probably not doing your homework you are probably still texting him first calling him first flexing around with the boundaries and not really being hard to get and i'm sorry to say my dear elegant lady but there is a reason to why you perhaps are not getting the treatment that you are expecting to get treated it's not only because men are pigs <laughs> actually majority of men are not pigs you oh. still have those who are very highly educated that i call high quality Ooh. men and those are the actual men that we want to hunt for in these modern days highly <laughs> educated blue pill men let's face it i don't have time or energy to start educating a man or start raising a man like if he was a little boy <laughs> quite frankly high caliber women don't do this so i don't think you should be doing uh, either okay. women do have a Shit, i'm high caliber because i said so and you ladies my amazing girlies and high caliber ladies at home this is what you need to do to be just like me Tendency of be but also i'm only high caliber because i'm exploiting and milking you out of your resources to watch me in my dribble <laughs> also impatient i see it everywhere so let's not deny the fact that women rather jump on quantity rather than quality and what i say by that is that sometimes women feel uncomfortable staying in their singleness they think that okay well okay he's like he seems all right okay let me jump this ship and then they off they go and then she wonders why she's unhappy in this relationship why things are not working out and why the man that she chose is a, is a pig so <laughs> i don't want any of that for my ladies oh I'm all the women out there they're all innocent guys all you innocent little girlies just looking for love doing all the right things for us dirty disgusting scumbags at home well she's gonna save the day Save the day from all the Steve Ozer prices out there because all, as we all know, all women are all sugar and spice and all things nice, eh, hey, gentlemen? The lovely high class girl is all they want. They're just sitting there. All they want is just a nice guy who will love and take care of them. <laughs> Come off it. I want my ladies to be very selective ladies, to be choosing, to be taking their time, to be really testing the guy, seeing, is he really worth my time? Is he really worth my trust, my love, my energy, my efforts? A man has to prove this. A man has to earn this. When a man earns this and when he knows that it's a challenge, that's when you're being hard to get. You're not being hard to get by just like not answering the phone once or texting him half an hour later instead of immediately. Ladies, that is not being hard to get. Men know those games from far. That is just being stupid. <laughs> I'm sorry. Ladies, hard to get is a lifestyle. Hard to get is an energy that we transmit. Oh, you know? oh being a C-U-N-T. Right. That's a great lifestyle. And uh, I'm sure many of the women watching this are probably living it, including this one. That We are actually very lucky in the sense that physically and uh, hormonally, we are actually not built desperately for men. Okay. Men are the opposite. They have their testosterone that are messing with their mind quite a lot, meaning that they need to hunt for women. They need to have their testosterone released and satisfied, meaning yep. that they're actually physically desperate, whilst women are not. That is true. Yeah, absolutely. Men, men are always walking around with rock hard bonus up until around the age of 35 or 40, I would say. We, um, we do live... Um, a one track mind so that is very much a true thing i'm not going to say that's not physically desperate however it becomes a problem because we become a little bit emotionally desperate and that is something that we need to start being aware of emotionally desperate is the biggest trap we can enter and how we can stop being emotionally desperate is by sourcing out our emotional needs from the ground mm -hmm. i've spoken so much in all my free content and in my elite finishing school about the importance of doing the work the work in therapy spiritual work growing you as a human being working on your mind she hasn't told us anything yet so what is this a sales pitch to get and funnel women over into her course it sounds like it Mind, filling that emotional gap that seems to be awaking little Mrs. Desperado in you that makes you chase the man instead of having the man chasing you. 
I know it sounds like a quick fix, but it's not. Becoming emotionally strong as a woman is a long journey, but it has to be started because if you are really neglecting your foundation, your inner world, kind of the person who you really are inside, when you are doing that, that's when you start attracting all these men that we are looking at and we're wondering like, what is she doing with him? Does it <laughs> yeah, you guys at home. <laughs> you, you degenerate scumbags. Love it. Doesn't she know that she deserves better? Lady, deserves. snap out of it. You see another common, common thing. And I'm also saying it because I've done it myself, but I managed to sort myself out after a lot of trial and errors. But one thing that I think a lot of us can recognize ourselves in, and that is when we validate ourselves, our worth through a man. Mm -hmm. Well, but they do it. It's just the way they are. They validate themselves to their social networks through the man that they've got, whether or not they love that man or not. They they validate each other, right? That's how they feed off. Oh, well, my husband bought me this ring. Um, he got me this car. Um, we live in this house. He's sending my kids to this school. That's how a lot of women actually do use men as a measuring stick. I'm not saying all, but a lot of these kinds of women will do that. They're not going to get validation by the man just loving them, right? Now what does that say? That says that we are always going to be emotionally tied to a man to basically validate us. That also means that we always require the presence of a man in our life to be attached to a man through a relationship, through marriage, to be seen as a woman who have made it, a woman who is accomplished. Now, I want you to also be aware that the society is built very sexist. A single woman is still seen as worth less in our society than a woman who is in a relationship or married. Oh, she must be to married who? if she is seen as a woman of respect. Where? Where is that? It's definitely not happening over here. Look at the face I've got her on. Eh. <laughs> but seriously, guys, like oh, I don't know where they come up with this stuff. I've never looked at a woman. Um, unless she was just obnoxiously rude and, and, and overly intolerant. And you're like, yeah, now I know why you don't have a man when you're screaming for one. But I've never looked at a woman who was single and thought you're less of a woman because you don't have a boyfriend or a, or a husband. I, I think they do that to themselves. I think women judge each other that way. Men most of the time don't judge. Yeah, should be my question on a dating, um, you know, in a dating process if we come across someone, how have they, if they're like a woman like this and how have you, how have you 40 and single if you look so nice? Right, and you and you come uh, and you put on this facade that you are well put together. That's when we'll judge and start saying, "Hey, something's not right in the state of Denmark," so to speak. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody else, not as much. That is sexist, and that is something you need to be aware yeah. because little Mrs. Desperado. She gets affected by these stereotypes mm. in society, mm. by the sexism that we have. But when you become aware of all these things that I'm trying to explain to you, you are actually going to start thinking about this. You might be... The patriarchy, boys. The patriarchy. We're banging them down. Everyone's sexist. No, women are each other's worst enemies. They're the ones that judge each other and put each other on totem poles from a societal perspective, especially when it comes into uh, the men that they can attract. They're just another um, status symbol. Okay, guys, halfway through. If you're still here, I appreciate it. Um, only for 10K subs. So please sub to the channel. And the best way to, best way to support me and the channel on growth is to watch my videos through to the end. That'll uh, then ensure YouTube pushes it out to more people. And I've got to say all this stuff because that other YouTubers say about liking, commenting, subscribing, because it's true and it works. And I appreciate it. So thank you all be able to separate yourself from certain stereotypes, from certain imposed beliefs, and you might actually, okay, let me take a step back. Let me not rush into this. Let me not be so desperate. And you start figuring things out in different ways just by using the method of awareness. What makes a man really beg for a woman's attention beg. is when she is being hard to get but she actually lives it she doesn't just pretend it and make him like see through the whole game. oh so she's a c-u-n-t that's what we all love as guys we love trying to chase around c-u-n-t's isn't it <laughs> uh, we love that of hers because men see through those things they're not stupid especially not if you are dating high caliber men don't you think that they have dealt with a lot of sneaky women and they have learned a lot of the games that women yeah. play because we play a lot of games 
and some of us play them better than others. And this whole thing you're doing is a game. Why can't people just be genuine with each other? I think women, if you stop doing this stuff, guys will be getting less jaded and doing less um, PUA stuff. Bad actors on both sides, but uh, why does it need to be a game, a, a power play? You know, it's um, it does boggle my mind, but it is where we are. But this is why if you want to play your game good, you need to actually live your game, live which game is always. why you need to really position yourself as a high caliber woman. In my elite finishing school, I talk oh. so much about branding. Oh, oh you better get, better get there, better sign up guys. You need to become an elite woman. And the way you're gonna do that, join the uh, School of Affluence, the elite finishing school for women. Fantastic. She's not gonna help women for free on, on the internet with the um, probably hundreds of thousands of dollars of ad revenue she's getting um, with 1.8 million views. No, you gotta sign up as well to a course to be suckered right in, like a female Andrew Tate or something and personal branding and how to position yourself correctly. That is something that I will always be teaching. And it's simply because your actions define your brand. You cannot just dress nicely and you cannot just speak nicely. You need to live what you showcase. You need to do the walk, not just do the talk. And high caliber ladies are uh. the ones on the market that men really beg to have their attention. And how are these ladies? Well, like I said, these ladies are selective. They're hard to get, they live hard to get because they have a life, they're busy. They don't just wait around or jump on every opportunity that the man offers them with. They live elegantly. They look after themselves. Oh, awesome. That's what we want as men. We want women who are expensive, have no time for us, and are rude. Fantastic. Uh, that is, they know what men want. They have expensive taste, and they're not afraid of showing it. Uh, Surely yeah. they do it with good taste, with discretion, never being with too discretion. much, because who likes that? Nobody. And high caliber ladies are always educated and always passionate about something, whether it is their profession or their mission in life or some pet project that they have. Or How to turn a guy off real quick. God, stop leading like men. Stop, stop trying to have, they're saying it's a finishing school for women to have feminine energy. This is masculine shit. We don't care about your projects and your careers and shit. It's nice. We want to know you can make some money, but you're not going to spend it on us anyway, so it makes no difference. Ugh. Let's say if they have a family and they're homemakers and they're very passionate about that, but they have a passion and they're dedicated to it. And that makes them interesting. Oh, yeah. Women like this are the hottest women on the market. Okay. Women like this in an existing relationship makes the man become in love with them over and over again. Oh, okay. The man never grows bored of her mm. if she's always interesting because she's cultivated. She is particular. She's intriguing. She sets boundaries. She knows her worth. Oh, she we love that one. I know my worth. <laughs> Oh, God, I think there's way too many channels like this, you know, spouting this shit for women um, online. I think that really, when you say these channels, that's why I review them, um, is this, these mouthpieces here that are making money off these women, um, having finishing schools and Instagram and products and bullshit that women get sucked into. You can see these messaging coming through on the dating apps when you're out there, like this sort of stuff, it's ringing, it's ringing a bit true to me. A lot of women carry on like this. Because I've read something, I've, I've joined some fifty dollars a month program on the internet or whatever it is, some whatever it is that these people are selling, thinking that they're going to get a guy and they to put guys off. She acts as if, but of course we cannot go away from the fact that men are very visual. So we have many different trends of styles today of fashion and so on. But I think a lot of the times women forget who we dress for. We dress for ourselves, but we also dress for men. We have to take that into account, either if it is our partner or if it's somebody that we wish to attract, but the opposite sex, it is important. And it is important that they like the way we look visually, because if they don't, then our relationship will go down the drain or we're going to forever stay single. So we have to balance sort of those two aspects out where I, I don't think I don't think looks are everything. Looks are good at the start, but as long as someone's like um, you know, makes an effort to look after themselves, I think most guys will just be happy with an average looking woman. That's fine. We don't need a supermodel woman. Um, the women say that men um, objectify them, but they objectify themselves because that's what they lead with. It's like men who say, Well, women just want my money, but they're the ones who are just spending money on chicks. It's a self fulfilling prophecy. I find it very interesting. 
We dress for ourselves so that we gain the confidence, that kind of pleasure of life that you get when you wear beautiful clothes that you enjoy, but also wear something that the men enjoy, that makes them look at you and be thinking that that is a very feminine, attractive woman. Then skip dressing for other women. That is a waste of time. But unfortunately, majority of women dress for other women mainly and forget the part of dressing for themselves and dressing for men. And ladies, I've said it so many times on my channel, you do not need to be a conventional beauty to be so successful in the male department. First of all, understand this. There is I can validate that because let's just say we've all gone monster hunting. You don't need to be um, a super attractive at all to get male attention or even to get a guy on the hook if you act nicely. So, but yeah, I can validate that. Many a night down at the cricket club, I can tell you that much break backs on top of the cricket pads, on top of the um, the Gray Nichols pads and the Cooker Borough buddy keeping gloves. <laughs> ah, look at her face. <laughs> Isn't just one formula of appearance that men want. Men really like all kinds of women, well, believe it, it or get. not. And the day you men love men will bang anything. Let me just let me just translate this: men will bang retards, midgets, uh, dwarves, chicks with Down syndrome. Fucking whatever, it doesn't matter. They'll do it. Deaf chicks, um, fatties, skinny chicks, smelly chicks, hairy chicks. It doesn't matter. All right, if a guy is super horny and he's a young man, he's going to go and put that thing anywhere. <laughs> start believing it is the day you are going to become that woman who just is so incredibly confident in herself and men just get really attracted to her oh, because yeah. of that and of that. course because she makes herself look the very best that she can and I think that's what's really important work with what you have enhance what you have make that look the very possible best that you can but add the magic flavor to this recipe add femininity so femininity is really what sells. Sex does not sell. Vulgarity uh, does yeah. not sell. Yeah. Asking for a fast track where you get sexual attention, that's not the answer either. Feminine attention is what you want. We've it's like the buzzwords now on both sides of the fence. Masculine alpha energy and feminine women energy and goddess energy. It's just bullshit, isn't it? in the previous videos how women like Monica Bellucci has mastered it to perfection. It's about you adding that little spice to your repertoire, adding that little spice to your flavor. Highlight your feminine traits. If you have a feminine silhouette, highlight that. If you don't have a feminine silhouette, create one with all the tips and tricks that I've also been teaching about in this videos, how you can create a silhouette, a more balanced, uh, silhouettes and of course you can play around with things like fabrics with perhaps some showing off certain details. all right this is enough of this bullshit guys i can't stand it anymore if you've made it this far guys thank you very much i appreciate it i'll see you in the next video